Hello, fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is so interesting. I ended up pulling the same two cards for earth signs. Some of you guys could be cross-watching as well. So we do have unexpected beginnings and surprises that are coming in for you. We're in a brand new year, so maybe there are some unexpected things that could be coming in when it comes to love and other aspects of your life. We clearly see a reconciliation card right here. So if you're really wanting somebody to return, you might just get an unexpected surprise by way of them reaching out to you and connecting with you once again. But there is this need to really talk things through, have the, those heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And it does say honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And I really feel that that's key to be open and honest with one another. And it does say worth waiting for. So it comes down to divine timing between you and this person. We have the moon card right here. And it says, I embody the power, depth, and complexities of the moon. I recharge under the light of the moon. I honor my sisters and brothers of the moon. The moon helps me connect to my true authentic self. I love the moon. So some of you guys that are able to relate to that, maybe that's why it's presenting itself here. But I feel it's really important, as it says, to be true and authentic, not only with yourself, but with each other. And there's something to do with being open and honest with one another. That could have been an issue. And that might have contributed to a breakup because they weren't being honest. They could have been deceptive. Okay, so we also have pleasure coming through here. And it does say pleasure is never to be shamed. It's part of living a balanced life. Find ways to cultivate it, even if it's just your imagination. So maybe this is the year for you to put yourself first, to do things that are pleasurable for you. And if you're not getting that in your relationships, you need to come in number one this time. So you could have let go of somebody with that hangman energy that just was not able to offer you those things in order to create change in your own life. And it could also be that you had to let each other go in order to see things from a very different angle, a different perspective. Divine Feminine, you're coming in as the High Priestess. So this is an intuition tapped card, that type of energy where you got to trust your inner voice and what it's telling you trust your heart. This is you just living your best life, living your truth. So there's a lot that has to do with that. And some additional advice here. Remember, it's their loss, not yours. And stop going after someone who doesn't put you first. Isn't that interesting that that presented itself here. So even though a reconciliation might be presented to you, that doesn't mean you have to accept this person back in. They're going to have to do the work. They're going to have to show up for you. And if they don't, you have your choice to walk away.